you guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is daniel rosal here i want to make a video today about the various products on the market for getting xlr microphones into your computer using the usb interface so i'm uh shortly later this uh this month going to be spending a bit of time in the usa and uh relative to the online shopping options here where i'm based in israel the usa is like a uh, consumer mecca amazon newegg b and h all these websites have so many products and before i go to the us i try to plan out a few different things i'm going to be buying to upgrade my audio video setup so one thing i've been uh, thinking about getting or looking for um for the past few months has been something like a travel audio interface um in other words some way of converting an xlr microphone like the one i'm speaking into right now and i have this connected to my computer over uh, the behringer euphoria um2 which i will show uh, but something a little bit more compact that you know you can just pack in your bag and bring on a trip and i found a few products um that i'm going to uh, show on the screen momentarily just to be clear this is not affiliate marketing that's not a thing i'm really into although i have in the past um, attempted to do it from a website but uh for my youtube uh, videos in general i don't put affiliate links and if i ever do i put a disclaimer so this video is non-affiliate uh, i'm just sharing what i find on found on amazon today because i can spend hours if not days lost in amazon and uh looking at their amazing uh, selection of products so here are the few options that i came across and i'm going to um try go through these in a logical order the first thing that i didn't find and that i will just say is very 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 hard to find if it exists at all is a built-in sound card with an xlr port if they exist i have i think seen them in the past but they're very very rare i don't think i haven't heard of a lot of people uh, with XLR ports and their sound cards uh, connecting microphones that way. So the most standard way to do it is to buy a USB audio interface. So this is the exact product I am using right now. This is the Shure PJ48 microphone. It's an XLR microphone, although it doesn't require phantom power. I have that connected to my Behringer uh, Euphoria, um, and then I have that connected via USB to my computer. I've mentioned a few times I use Ubuntu Linux um, and I mentioned that just because a lot of people are always wondering will this will stuff work on Linux and as you can see I'm having no problems I'm recording this into OBS studio and uh, OBS recognizes the driver out of the box so that's great so this is kind of the standard product it's a box now they come in various permutations if you look at an eight channel mixer we've gone from a little box very quickly to a much much bigger box and the difference is just the amount of uh, inputs you have so if you go for like a two channel mixer we've got you can see two uh, xlr ports there and um, monitoring live monitoring so you've got your uh, quarter inch jack um, you've got your gain trims and you have direct hardware monitoring so you can either monitor on the software level or you can actually monitor without going near the computer by just doing that's what direct monitoring is and you've also got that 48 volt phantom power button personally i really like having a, a control over phantom power i know that these days for the most part you're not going to damage microphones by putting 48 volt phantom power somewhere it shouldn't go i it's i still rest a little bit easier knowing i have that control because the sure pj48 doesn't require phantom power I'm putting this through the Behringer, but I have the Phantom Power button deliberately turned off. So that's the uh, the main one. These guys will set you back. If you just need a one channel interface, this is a cheap and cheerful option, $45. Um, and it served me very well. So that's that's kind of the, st the standard thing. But what I was looking for, as I mentioned, was something more traveling oriented. So just one, one more non-travel oriented option before we get to the travel travel friendly options. Um, you can also get a mixer. Now, what's the difference between a mixer and an audio interface or product like this one from Zeal Sound? It's described as an audio interface with a mixer. Now, depending on what keywords you plug into Amazon, audio interface mixer, you'll get different products. What's the difference between this and an audio interface? Well, you can kind of see for yourself, they've got, it's a mixer, so you're gonna typically have treble bass controls, some, sometimes mid controls as well. And this is intended for live streaming, so it's got these kind of kitschy, uh, buttons you can press for uh, laughter sound effects and cheer sound effects you get the idea um, and you've got monitoring as well so the truth is actually not a ton of difference it just really depends whether you, if you're if you're using your uh, xlr microphone for live streaming whether it's going to be useful to you to have these things or whether you're happy to do them on the software level i personally would uh, be more in favor of an audio interface and just get all this kind of sound effects stuff done uh, within whatever program you're streaming from 
Okay. Um, right. So now we're getting into the more compact options like me, you're preparing for a trip, but you want to bring with you a decent microphone and get it into your laptop. So one option you can do is get a uh, USB to XLR cable. It's going to have, as you can see, an XLR female on the microphone connecting side and a USB on the computer connecting side, USB-A almost always, although you'd also see XLR to uh, USB Type-C. Um, this basically has the sound cards in that USB port. Um, so the advantage of this is that it's very, very lightweight and it's very, very cheap. This is only $12, but you can get slightly better ones for like 40, 50 bucks. Um, the disadvantage is that you're not going to have that onboard live monitoring that you did with the um, with an audio interface and you're not going to have those physical gain trims. So this is kind of the really, really simplistic option if you just want to literally get your microphone connected to your computer. Just pick up one of these cables. Personally, they're so cheap, relatively speaking, that for $12, I would probably pick up one just to have one in my kit. Uh, but my preference would be to use an audio interface above these probably. All right, another thing. Now, these, uh, these I actually really, really like. These are very clever products. I put into Amazon, as you can see, USB to XLR adapter. This is a sure product for 100 bucks, but I came across a couple more products which, I, which got really, really good reviews. Uh, this CNL product and this Pile microphone, just gonna come into view in a second on my screen. This Pile microphone product also got really, really good ratings, ratings and it comes in at just under uh, 50 bucks. So again, these are pretty affordable products. Now the way these guys works is, as you can see, it's a little, um, it's a little, uh, I don't know what to describe this kind of bullet shaped um, product, but it has everything on the hardware, but it managed to be a lot small. So this is a lot smaller than even that Behringer one channel XLR interface. And you have trim wheels for monitoring gain, for microphone gain. And as you can see here, if I, uh, I'm just going to put myself down and miniaturized for a second, you can see it's got a 48 volt uh, switch. Now on the output side, it's going to have it's going to, these all seem to terminate in USB type C. I presume that is in order to um, keep the form factor small. Uh, the pile of products actually did the exact same thing. Now I like the Shure product and I like the one that I got because the 48 volt phantom power, this product from pile microphone got really good reviews. I'm sure it's a great product and it's a more attractive product. I think personally, you've got those uh, gain trims but uh, it delivers 48 phantom power whether you want it or not. So it doesn't have uh, you can toggle it again probably not a a problem for 99 percent of microphones but in case you're really pedantic uh it might bother you okay the final type type of product i want to talk about for traveling audio interfaces it's stuff like this product it's zoom u44 uh, handy audio interface if you type in zoom handy audio interface you're going to get a few different products these are uh kind of handheld audio interfaces you can just tell from the form factor they're more intended for use on the road uh this one runs at 180 dollars and it's got two xlr inputs as you can see um, and of course, uh, you're going to be able to uh, put out phantom power and monitoring and all the other things you'd expect a product like this to do. It is 20 centimeters long, so it's not as compact as some of the other products in its category. Uh, but again, this is kind of, I think, a nice intermediate step. It's got battery deliverable uh, power, so you can charge this guy up, um, etc. And uh, you've got uh, quite a bit of functionality um, in this. So I think that this is a slightly more professional option. My preference, the one I bought, not this exact one, but this, something this size for me is really, really small to pack uh, in my luggage so that I can use any microphone with my computer while I'm on the road without needing to bring a whole big, uh, even the Behringer is not super big, but it's still kind of a chunky product to, uh, to pack around in your luggage. So there you go, guys. Those are the options as I find them on amazon.com today. And again, this is not affiliate marketing. This is just um, my uh, my interest, if you will. Um, if I've missed anything, any other great products, compact audio interfaces that I missed, uh, somehow please uh, leave me a comment or get in touch my emails on this channel. And thank you very much for watching this video. More videos about tech and other topics coming soon.